crossing a Rhode Island red rooster with a white leghorn hen. In the genetic world, there are crosses that are key to obtaining hens with high egg production. One of these star crosses is that of the Rhode Island red rooster with a white leghorn hen. It may sound strange, but this cross is very popular because it seeks the best of each breed and thus obtains daughters that are true laying champions with magnificent feed conversion. This cross is like a secret recipe for having top laying hens. And in this video, we are going to discover what these daughter hens look like physically and how good they are at laying eggs. Get ready to meet high performance laying hens. Now let's talk about the parents of our wonder hens. The White Leghorn is world renowned as the number one pure breed in egg production. It is a true white egg laying machine. Imagine that a single hen can lay around 300 large, good weight white eggs in her first year. That's why many laying hens we see out there have leghorn genes in their DNA. Even the famous Isa Brown has some leghorn in its history. On the other hand, the Rhode Island Red is no slouch. It is in the top 10 of pure breeds that lay the most eggs, easily exceeding 250 eggs per year. For a purebred hen, that's a lot. And just like the leghorn, its genes are also key to creating high production hybrid hens. So what happens when we put these two star breeds together? When we cross a Rhode Island Red Rooster with a white leghorn hen, the daughters that are born inherit a production capacity equal to, or even better than that of the leghorn breed, but with greater robustness from the Rhode Island Red breed. As we have told you in other videos, the hen gives the chicks the most genetic load. That's why, since the white leghorn is a superior layer to the Rhode Island Red, we normally use it as the female in the cross. But be careful, we don't use the Rhode Island Red Rooster just because. We are looking for the daughters to also inherit some special characteristics of this breed, some qualities that interest us. Large companies that are dedicated to producing high-production brown egg-laying hens, such as the people at ISA International, already know this trick. They have crossed the Rhode Island Red Rooster with the white leghorn hen, and so that the eggs continue to be brown in the following generations, they cross the daughters again with the Rhode Island Red Father. This is how they get white hybrid hens, similar to the leghorn, that lay brown eggs with the same laying capacity as the leghorn. As we observe in the images that, by the way, are real images of the F1 hybrids from the cross of the Rhode Island Red and the White Leghorn that were made especially for this video, it can be observed that the general appearance of these offspring tends to be more similar to the White Leghorn, with its elegant, predominantly white plumage and an agile and slender body structure. However, it is crucial to highlight that these hybrids usually present a larger size and weight compared to a pure Leghorn. This robust characteristic is a clear manifestation of the genetic inheritance of the Rhode Island Red. The plumage coloration in the F1 is an excellent example of how the genes of both parental breeds interact. The majority of the daughters inherit the dominant white gene I from the white leghorn, resulting in a heterozygous genotype I in the F1. This gene masks the expression of the base color, red in the Rhode Island Red, which explains the predominantly white plumage. The presence of spots or brown areas, especially in the wings and back of some birds, indicates that the dominant white gene does not always have 100% penetrance, or that there are modifying genes that allow the expression of the underlying red color in certain areas. These individuals from this cross, with this pattern of spots or brown areas, are quite similar to the Issa brown roosters that are white with brown areas on the wings and back. This physical expression of the brown color may also be due to the segregation of alleles that influence the intensity of white inhibition. The occasional appearance of black feathers suggests the presence of recessive genes for black that were generally present in the neck of the Rhode Island Red, and that, in this case, have manifested in some F1 individuals. Both the roosters and hens F1 have a larger and heavier body structure than the pure leghorn, which reflects polygenic inheritance where multiple genes from the Rhode Island Red contribute to greater muscle mass and bone density. Although the general shape follows the slender line of the leghorn, the substance is greater thanks to the influence of the Rhode Island Red. Egg production in the F1 tends to be high, seeking a balance between the exceptional prolificacy of the leghorn and the good laying rate of the Rhode Island Red. Sexual maturity is usually early, reaching production age between 20 and 22 weeks a characteristic inherited from the leghorn. However, egg color is where Mendelian inheritance becomes most evident. F1 hens that inherit two copies of the genes for white eggs from the leghorn will lay white eggs. 
Those that inherit one copy of the gene for white eggs and one copy of the genes for brown eggs from the Rhode Island Red may lay light brown eggs due to incomplete dominance or the action of modifying genes that dilute the brown color. Hens that inherit a greater influence of the genes for brown eggs from the Rhode Island Red will tend to lay darker brown eggs, this being the variety most used by companies producing high production brown egg hybrids to include their genes in the hens they produce, such as the Isa Brown, Loman Brown, and Highline Brown. And this would be the variety that should be selected and crossed again with the Rhode Island Red Father to obtain hens with the high production of the Leghorn and the egg color of the Rhode Island Red. This selection of egg color is mostly for the demand for brown shelled eggs, which are more commercial in many countries around the world compared to white or other colored eggs. The maternal instinct in these F1 hybrids is variable, generally low to moderate, reflecting the low tendency to broodiness of the Leghorn and the moderate instinct of the Rhode Island Red. The egg weight is at an intermediate point between 60 to 65 grams, combining the egg size of both parental breeds. The success of the company Isa International in developing the Isa Brown, a high-production brown egg layer, perfectly illustrates the power of selection and strategic crossing of breeds such as the Leghorn, in its white and brown varieties, and the Rhode Island Red. By identifying and combining the genetic strengths of different breeds, including the high-laying efficiency of the Leghorn and the egg color of the Rhode Island Red, they managed to create a commercial hybrid of exceptional performance. To fix the brown color and increase production, one could resort to the selection and backcrossing of these F1 daughters with the Rhode Island Red Father, or selected Rhode Island Red lines. This backcross increases the proportion of Rhode Island Red genes to ensure egg color. Simultaneously, individuals with a high production rate would be selected, inheriting the characteristics of the White Leghorn. Through generations of strategic selection and crossing, a line could be developed that combined high production, influenced by the Leghorn, with brown eggs, influenced by the Rhode Island Red. This process, exemplified by the Rhode Island Red Cross with the White Leghorn and the search for high production brown eggs, illustrates the methodology used to develop these successful commercial hybrids. The central idea of combining the strengths of different breeds through strategic crosses and continuous selection is the fundamental principle underlying their exceptional performance. The cross we are exploring between the Rhode Island Red and the White Leghorn follows this same fundamental logic of genetic synergy, opening a range of possibilities for us breeders who seek to combine desirable characteristics in their birds and innovate in this wonderful world of high egg production hens. By understanding how genes are transmitted and expressed, each of you can feel inspired to carry out your own crossing experiments, seeking unique combinations that suit your needs and objectives. The key lies in observation, selection, and understanding the genetic principles we are exploring in this video. Color at birth of the F1. Although the cross of a Rhode Island Red Rooster with a Rhode Island White Hen may seem the same as a Rhode Island Red Rooster and a White Leghorn Hen, it is not the same, and we will see why. Generally, a Rhode Island Red Rooster homozygous for the gold gene and a Rhode Island White Hen carrying the sex-linked silver gene are used to produce chicks that can be sexed at birth. The resulting male chicks inherit a gold gene from the father and a silver gene from the mother, manifesting plumage that allows them to be visually differentiated from the females at birth. The female chicks only inherit the gold gene from the father and therefore are born red. There are other combinations of silver and gold alleles that also allow sexing at birth in this cross. The key is the presence of contrasting alleles of these sex-linked genes in the parents. In the cross of the Rhode Island Red Rooster and the White Leghorn Hen, they are not born sexable by color, because here the situation is different due to the dominant white gene I in the White Leghorn. The White Leghorn is homozygous dominant for this gene, too, which inhibits the expression of the base color of the plumage, including gold and silver if they were present. When crossed with a Rhode Island Red Rooster, which generally does not carry the dominant white gene and whose base color is red, influenced by the gold gene, the offspring inherit one copy of the dominant white gene, I. The dominant white gene masks any color difference that could be caused by the sex-linked silver or gold genes. Therefore, although the male and female chicks of this cross inherit different combinations of the Z and W sex chromosomes, the presence of the dominant white gene I makes both sexes predominantly white at birth, preventing sexing based on plumage color. The fact that both the Rhode Island White and the White Leghorn are phenotypically white does not imply that their whiteness is determined by the same genes or that they interact in the same way in crosses. 
The whiteness of the Rhode Island white is often based on the expression of the silver gene or on recessive genes that inhibit color, while the whiteness of the white leghorn is the result of the dominant gene that suppresses the expression of other colors. Now let's talk about the productivity of these interesting F1 hybrid hens. Based on the potential of their parents and the boost of hybrid vigor, we can assure you that these birds have an excellent laying rate, easily falling within the range of 280 to 300 eggs per year. While this production range may be similar to that of a pure white leghorn, here lies the key benefit of this cross. Obtaining a hen with a laying capacity comparable to that of the leghorn, around 300 eggs annually, but with a larger body size and weight. This increase in body structure, inherited from the robustness of the Rhode Island Red, could translate into several benefits such as greater resistance. Larger and more robust birds may have greater resistance to certain environmental conditions and diseases. Longer productive lifespan. A stronger constitution could contribute to a longer and more productive laying cycle. Dual purpose potential. Although egg production remains a priority, a larger size could offer slight additional value in terms of meat at the end of their productive cycle, unlike the leghorn, which is primarily a layer. An F1 hen can reach about 1.9 to 2 kilograms in weight, which compared to the weight of a pure white leghorn hen, which weighs around 1.5 kilograms, would be a very profitable increase. In summary, the appeal of this cross lies in the possibility of matching the impressive egg production of the leghorn, 280 to 300 eggs per year, but in a bird that presents a larger size and weight, thus offering additional benefits in terms of robustness and productive lifespan potential. For your success, fellow breeder, until next time.